Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to veganize Princess Tiana's beignets. First, add 1 and 1 fourth cups of unsweetened and warmed plant-based milk to your bowl. Then add 1 and a half teaspoons of yeast. I am using dry instant yeast so I can just add it straight into my batter. But if you are using active yeast, you will need to mix the yeast and the milk separately and let it sit until it starts to foam. Add one third cup of sugar to your milk and your yeast mixture and then add one and a half cups of your all purpose flour. Go ahead and mix that until it makes a cake like batter. Once you have your batter, go ahead and add your egg replacer. You need approximately one egg. You can use a store-bought egg replacer and or make your own. I am personally using flax egg, which I made by mixing one tablespoon of flaxseed meal and three tablespoons of water and letting it sit for 15 minutes until it became gelatinous. After that, add two tablespoons of melted vegan butter and or margarine, and then follow that with two more cups of all-purpose flour. Mix your dough, you can do this with an electric mixer or your hand. Once your dough is ready, it should be soft and elastic. Transfer your dough to an oiled bowl and cover it with cling wrap. Allow it to rest for two hours. Once two hours has passed, your dough should have risen significantly. Transfer your dough onto a floured surface and then also dust the top of your dough lightly with flour and roll it out. Then start cutting out two to three inch squares within your dough. Take those squares and put them on a baking sheet to rest for another 25 minutes. Make sure to flour the tops so the cling wrap doesn't stick to them.
Once 25 minutes has passed, your squares should be puffy and you can go ahead and start to cook them. Heat up about two inches of vegetable oil in a pot and make sure it hits about 360 degrees. If you don't have a thermometer, you can use the wooden spoon method. Basically, your oil will be ready to fry if you insert the end of your wooden spoon into it and it starts to bubble steadily. If it starts bubbling too vigorously, your oil is too hot and you need to let it cool down. Insert your beignets in batches and flip them once they get nice and golden brown. When they're done, they should look a little like this. Once they're done frying, transfer your beignets over to a draining rack. All that's left now is to add your toppings. Princess Tiana uses honey, but because these are vegan, I'm going to be using maple syrup. And then finish them off with powdered sugar. I use Wholesome Brand, which is 100% vegan. And that is it guys, you have a fully veganized Princess Tiana beignet. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you next time.